But I would like to know from you guys, what fragrances do you love wearing in the springtime? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know my suggestions for this spring, keep watching. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you so happen to be new here, I'm Sasha. And on this channel, I do fragrance reviews. So if you enjoy that type of content, please take a minute to give it a thumbs up subscribe, hit that bell, and then you know each time I upload a new fragrance review. As I mentioned, I have seven fragrances in my collection that are perfect for spring. They will brighten your day. They will make you feel absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure you're really excited to find out what they are. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. All right, the first fragrance is Vallea Eau de Parfum by Parfums de Marly. I'm sure you have been seeing this one all over YouTube, Instagram. This is one of the latest releases from Parfums de Marly. And I really like this fragrance. I think this is such a pretty feminine fragrance that just really, in my opinion, stands out. And so let's go ahead and talk about the notes in here. This opens really bright really fresh. It has this really nice bergamot that mixes with a mandarin. And then you're getting a soft note of a sweet peach. And it's like the white peaches that you get. It's slightly sweet, not overly sweet. It also has this beautiful heart with some white florals that are very soft. They're very elegant, really pretty. And then in the base, this is where it really warms up on your skin with musk. And it has kind of that warm skin that's been kissed by the sun kind of feel to it. So this makes it absolutely perfect for spring. And personally, I think this would make an amazing fragrance for a bride. I think it's so elegant, so sophisticated, so pretty. It works great for if you're going out to brunch with friends. It also works well for going out in the evening on a date night with your significant other, a special event. It's just a very versatile fragrance that, again, is very pretty, very feminine. Performance-wise, this is lovely. It projects about an arm's length. It gets a little closer to the body, but you're going to get this nice bubble around you. You're going to get wafts of this throughout the day. People are going to be able to pick up on this fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that's going to garnish you a lot of compliments. It's a very likable scent. It's very crowd pleasing. I think it's beautiful. Performance wise, as far as longevity, I get about eight hours on my skin, which is really, really good. Super long lasting on the clothes. Overall, a really nice fragrance. I highly recommend this one. It's beautiful. If you're looking for a signature scent that's feminine, that's pretty, then you're really going to like Vallea by Parfums de Marley. All right, this is Bosphorus Pearl Extract de Parfum by Alhabra Parfums. I absolutely love the way this bottle looks. You'll see the name of the fragrance on one side, and when you turn it over, you'll see a painting of a lighthouse overlooking the ocean. If you love an opening that's slightly tart, then you will really, really enjoy this fragrance. I love the way this smells. It has a mougette that mixes with some violet and rose. Now the rose definitely stands out and it's a velvety, almost like a jammy type of rose. So if you like the rose that's a little bit more on the sweet side, that's definitely how it is in the opening. In the heart, you have a little bit of a woodiness that comes from cedar wood. There's some ylang lang in here as well as a jasmine tea. Now, I don't really pick up on the tea. I think that opening is so strong. It kind of takes over the heart as well. So you're not really going to be able to pick up on that tea note. But then in the base, as this warms up, you have a very smooth and rich amber. It mixes beautifully with a white musk and some dry wood as well as floral musk. So a really nice woody base opens kind of bright, tart, and then it gets a little bit deeper, which is really nice. This is a great fragrance. I believe it's unisex. If it is, it definitely leans, in my opinion, more on the feminine side. This is a fragrance that works great for most occasions. It is very likable. It reminds me a little bit of 
Parfums de Marley's Delina, just a little bit. It's kind of within that same kind of vibe. So if you love Delina or Delina exclusive, then you will really enjoy this fragrance. It does last a very long time on my skin, about six to eight hours, super long lasting on the clothes, projects nicely. It leaves a gorgeous trail all around really nice fragrance. And this again was Bosphorus Pearl by Alhabra Parfums. All right, next is the Lang and Gold of the Parfum by M. Mikolov. I really enjoy this fragrance. I think it's gorgeous. And what's really unique about this is when you spray this on the skin, you're gonna notice little flecks of like gold that glistens on your skin, makes you feel like a golden goddess. I love the opening in this. You're definitely gonna pick up on geranium and some citrus. And then you're getting a little bit of sandalwood that mixes with that ylang lang. And that's really the main star of this fragrance. And then as it gets into the base, you're hit with a little bit of coconut, some vanilla. It smells very seductive. I can see this for an evening. If you're going out as date, maybe you're going to a special event. This fragrance just fits in perfectly. It also will work for the daytime. If it's a warm spring day and you're on vacation somewhere tropical, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I love it. I think it smells incredible. It's feminine. It's sexy. It's definitely going to make you feel absolutely incredible when you wear it. I enjoy the performance on this one. I get about six hours on my skin, which is really nice. And then it lasts a long time on my clothes projects nicely, leaves a gorgeous trail. And again, it leaves this kind of this golden kind of shimmer on your skin, which I think is an added bonus. And again, this was Ylang and Gold by M. Nicola. All right, this is My Way Parfum or the Parfum by Giorgio Armani. I really like the look of this bottle. It's kind of that ombre effect. It's got this pinkish purple and then it gets down to a deeper blue. Now, this one was from my Macy's haul, and I was kind of on the fence with this one. And I'm telling you, the more I wear this one, the more I absolutely love it. And I'm not a huge Iris fan, but for some reason, I just really enjoy this fragrance. And if you like Iris, you're in luck, because this is loaded, loaded with Iris. But let's talk about the opening notes in here, because it does open with a really nice bergamot oil, as well as an orange flower that's been soaked in like a orange bitter oil so there is a slight bitterness to it and i think that's what i really like about this and then you're going to notice the tuberose in the heart the iris like i said is really the star of this show as this warms up you're going to get a little bit of some cedar wood so a slight woodiness in here some bourbon vanilla and some white musk to me, this is a sexy perfume to wear in the evening. You're going out on a date, maybe a black tie event, a wedding that you're attending. This is a gorgeous feminine fragrance. And like I said, the more I wear this one, the more I love it. If you haven't had a chance to smell this one, definitely try it out. Now, I was not a fan of the original My Way and My Way Intense. But this one, just something about it is fantastic. It lasts a super long time on, on me. It's about eight hours. It will last forever on your clothes. You will smell this days later, projects nicely, leaves a gorgeous trail. All around really nice fragrance. And again, this one was My Way Parfum by Giorgio Armani. All right, if you want to smell like royalty this spring, then definitely check out Calques Fleurs Royale or the Parfum Extreme by Houbigance Paris. This is a gorgeous, feminine, classy fragrance. This is the woman at the country club having a nice brunch with friends, a beautiful signature scent. I love this fragrance because it opens slightly fruity. You're getting a really nice black currant in here. It's beautiful. It's feminine. It smells rich, expensive. There's a slight hint of some grapefruit. Then as you get into the heart, it's very floral. You're getting some jasmine, some rose, a little bit of violet, as well as some tuberose and beeswax. And then in the base, this is where it becomes a little more balsamic. You're getting sandalwood, some cedarwood, vanilla, and musk. As I mentioned, this is a very feminine fragrance. This smells expensive. It smells rich. It, if you love some light florals, you're going to really enjoy this one. Great performance on this one. It projects very nicely. 
it gets a little bit closer to the body. I would say this small bubble around you, but people are going to be able to get wafts of this, especially if they're standing pretty close to you. It leaves a gorgeous trail. It lasts a super long time. I get up to eight hours on my skin, which is fantastic. Again, if you want to smell like royalty, check out Kelkis Fleurs Royale by Huey Gant Paris. All right, this next fragrance is Daisy Oh So Intense Eau de Parfum by Marc Jacobs. This is great. This is, like I said, the intense version. This is one of those fragrances that is very feminine, very bright, delicious smelling. It's definitely going to get the attention of the opposite sex. It opens with this really nice pear that is not too sweet. There's just enough sweetness in there. It's not quite overly ripe. And then it has this strawberry that smells fresh and this bergamot, that citrusy. It's very fruity, very bright opening. And then in the heart, you're going to notice some jasmine, some rosebuds, and then honey. So that's where some more sweetness is coming in. And then as this dries down, you're experiencing some benzoin, some moss vanilla, and musk. And so that vanilla really does stand out in this fragrance. I find this to be a very pretty, very feminine fragrance to be worn during the day or night, very versatile. It is one of those fragrances that is somewhat flirty, somewhat youthful, but will work for any age, works for any occasion. I really like this fragrance and I honestly was blown away with how much I like it. Performance wise was another thing that kind of blew me away with this one. This lasts a really long time on my skin, about six to eight hours, super long on the clothes. I was getting wafts of this throughout the day. Very impressed. I think you guys will really like this one. It kind of reminds me of a warm spring evening as the sun is about to set and then you're biting into strawberries and it's warm and the sun is setting. That's kind of what I think about when I smell this particular fragrance. If you want a great daisy fragrance from Marc Jacobs, try the Oh So Intense. And last I have Chanson Tendre Eau de Parfum by Chanel. This is my favorite fragrance from the Chanel line. There's just something about this particular perfume that I absolutely love. This has that very clean, fresh feeling when you spray it. It opens with grapefruit and quince, which is a really nice combination. It's very clean, very bright, very welcoming. And then in the heart, you're getting a soft note of jasmine and some rose. And that rose is very soft, powdery, velvety. And then in the base, it warms up with some musk. So you have kind of this sun-kissed skin kind of feel. And so all the notes together create just this beautiful feminine fragrance. It reminds me of like fresh cotton shirts hanging on the line outside and the sun and the wind is drying them. It's just very clean, bright, happy fragrance. I love this. It projects really, really nicely. Gets a little closer to the skin, but people are still going to be able to notice this. This is one of those fragrances that will linger in the air and people will know that you've been somewhere just by this scent. And I love the fact that it lasts forever and ever on your clothes. I have sprayed this on a t-shirt and days later, I've grabbed that t-shirt and I can still smell this on here. Now on my skin, I get about six hours, but triple the amount on your clothes. Like I said, super, super beast mode on your clothes beautiful fragrance, very feminine. So if you like, like I said, those clean, bright, happy fragrances, this is definitely one to be wearing this spring. Also summertime. I love it. And again, this was Chanson Tendre Eau de Parfum by Chanel. There you have my spring recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you wear in the springtime. Let me know in the comments. If you have any fragrances you can suggest to me, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon.